Hi and welcome to the beginner's course on Google Ads Engine. In this tutorial, I will try to show you how you can get easily the elevation profile for different types of waypoints. Okay, so in this tutorial, I will use this data set SRTM Digital Elevation Data version 4. I simply click to here. You can see the different types of information about this SRTM Digital Elevation Data version 4 you can see the data set availability date data set provider and collection snippet you can also click to bands here you can see the bands you can also see the minimum and maximum bands and you can also see the resolution this resolution is 90 meter so i simply click to import this data set will be imported in my script so now i rename this data set so i rename it elevation elevation so now i want to show this elevation data set in my map so for this i use the map add layer function and use this object name elevation and I also declared the mean and maximum elevation here I want to show the mean 0 and max elevation 500 ok so now I click here to run now we can it will be appear in your map view this data set now you can see this data set will be appear so here the white color means this is the highest elevation and black color means it's the lowest elevation so now i import my data set in here so secondly you need to define some of waypoints here you can simply use this marker point to take the different types of waypoint you can get the all of this waypoint here you can get the point but in this case i will make a waypoints here so i just copy this waypoints in this code script so i just paste here this code now you can see the my waypoints in code editor so this is the longitude and latitude and i can also use the name for this point so i add this point here so now i want to use a variable for all of these points in a merge so for this i also take a variable this variable name can be i use the bar for declare the variable bar and variable name is waypoints you can eat any here in variable name here so i here use the waypoints so i can hear the different name here so i can use here the point way okay so now i want to this function e feature feature collection and here i use this variable names okay use this variable names and now now i want to show all of this point in my map view for this i also use the map add layer function method layer function and i also use this object name here and i also use here the color of this waypoints so you can simply do it using a dictionary so for this i used here the curly brackets 
and define a dictionary and here I also define the object this p name is color and I define this color is red. So now I click to click here you can see the this point in the map view and this point will be red color ok. So I when I click to run you can see there are two layer name you will appear here. So now you can see the waypoints here it will be appeared in this code. So, so now you can see this waypoints. Actually, I want to show you this waypoints elevation profile. Okay, in a chart. So now I declared the waypoints and I already put the image collection SRTM image collection. So now I make a chart for this. So I can here I also take a variable for this I use the variable var chart and I here I use the ui dot chart dot image dot series this function sorry here, here you want to use the image by region by region region because here I use the a particular region in a point for this you can use here the UI chart image dot by region but when you work only for the different types of image collection you can simply use here the ui chart image dot by series ok so in this particular case here i use the a different of point here in a particular region for this i use here the ui chart image by region ok so now i fulfill this all of this required option of this function so here you can first here you can the image so i all of this in a dictionary for this i use the curly brackets okay and uh, here i declare one by one so first of all image so this image is come from this data set elevation so i simply copy this data set variable name and paste here and region so actually here I use the different types of region and I also declare all of this region in a one variable this variable name is point away so I simply copy this and paste here and then you can see the reducer it is not mandatory for this time because I cannot do any calculation of statistics for this I ignore this reducer property. So when you use the any type of statistics calculation just mean median or other calculation you can use the reducer but in this particular case I don't need any statistical for this I ignore this ok. And secondly you can see here the scale and this scale will be 200 and x property it means the what you can see the x axis level so here i want to show the the uh, name so here i can already declare the point name so here i want to show the name so for this i use here the name okay name so I define my chart in this code so if you want to show this chart here so you can simply print the chart and click run now you can see here the generating a chart but in this case you cannot understand 
what is the title of the chart it what is the band mean it what is the y level means and you can also dec uh, in this chart the x property i already declared the name so you can see the x level you can see the name of this different types of name here this is actually this is the point name so now i want to some styling for the chart and uh, add the add the chart title and other information in here so for this So for this I already make a chart styling in my code so just I copy this code and paste here so so when I click to run now you can see the complete chart of this data set and you can easily understand what's the meaning of the chart when you click here now you can see this is the chart title elevation profile and it is the elevation its elevation parameters is unit uh, unit is meter and here you can see this is the name of the x level different types of point in here so you can easily understand this map chart so if you want to download the chart data in a csv file format you can simply click to download csv you can see this chart is downloaded in, in here you can simply click to here you can save in your csv file format now it will be opened so now we can see the in this case here i put this this the point and i can also get this point elevation okay so i hope you understand how you can get this elevation data and how you can also make a chart of elevation profile only for the way of points so if you want to save this uh, save your chart in png file format simply click to here this chart will be saved in your png file format so i hope you understand how we can easily make a chart of elevation profile if you like if you like this video and if you want to know another advanced tutorial about uh, in google earth engine please uh, let me know in comment section i will try to do any advanced tutorial or other okay so goodbye